Alright YouTube, so today I'm going to show you how to wire an OBD1 or OBD2 main relay into an OBD0 harness. As you can see, that's what we have right here. And let me just demonstrate how it works. You have a key open, it primes it for 5 seconds and it turns it off. That's what it should be doing. You see, it turns off. I'll show you how to wire this coil right here too for the people that are using a harness that uses an interior coil. And yep, that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing right now. As you can see, unfortunately, I had to take this apart because I have a dead cylinder right now. So yeah. But yeah, this is how it's gonna work. I mean, a lot of people say you should just buy a new main relay, forty dollars. I mean, that's it. That ain't gonna work for me. Forty dollars is a bit out of my budget, so I just do what I can. There's not a lot of these in the junkyard that have the main relay for this year, but there is a lot of newer ones. Uh, the harness is off a ninety-five Accord, and the actual main relay is off a ninety-nine Integra. So I mean, I'm assuming they're the same harness. And all I did watch was, as you can see in the wiring diagram, all you're going to do is going to match each pin to each pin. Say ignition 1 goes to ignition 1 here, which is 5. 5 goes to 5, 1 goes to 1, 3 goes to 3. 4 is the only one that changes because the um, OBD1 OBD2 main relay don't have a 4, so 4 is gonna go to pin 6. And it's gonna be in your main relay is gonna be numbered so you'll know where this is at. Then 8 goes to 8 and 7 goes to 7. I'll probably put it like I don't know if you can see it like that. Leave it a bit like that so you can take a screenshot or whatever. But yeah, a lot of people say just match it color to color and no, that's that's not how it works. Right here, this is gonna uh, I'm gonna show you how what, what colors I match with what colors. On this one, the black one's gonna go to the black one, of course, ground. And this is the 95 harness. The yellow white is gonna go to the let me see if it focuses. Yellow white is gonna go to the white green. The black yellow is going to go to black yellow, which is two wires that go to that terminal. The black green goes to the blue white. The black green, and, no, I don't know. No, that, that's the green. The green goes to the green black. And the black yellow goes to the yellow black and like I said just follow the numbers the terminals in the harness the only thing is going to change that number four that goes to a number six this is uh, the plug for this main relay which is going to be the same it's just the colors change also like I said just match pins to the pin to the pin and you should be able to make it work also for the exterior coil all you're gonna have to do is oh, fuck. Uh, this black yellow wire that goes to your distributor I have this one cut cause it was I couldn't fuck uh, the pin was fucked up so I just wired it directly to the to the one that comes off the harness but that one's gonna stay the same for from harness to harness on this one the black yellow that comes out of the out of the harness you're gonna cut it and the part that goes that comes from the from the firewall you're gonna put it to the black yellow on this one the part that goes to the distributor you're gonna put it on the yellow wire from this one 
and the green one you're gonna have on the new distributor you're gonna have an extra an extra pin an extra green pin right here and that's where you're gonna wire the green one too and like I said it's not that difficult I don't know if you can get a better look like that and I don't know if you could hear me when the engine was on but unfortunately I have a dead cylinder on, on this one the guy that I bought the engine from uh, I asked him if he was having any issues or so and he just forgot to mention that his timing belt snapped so I had to deal with that I just wanted to make the video before I took everything apart again um, also the timing was off about half uh, one fourth of a turn fortunately like these three cylinders seem to be working well I got 120 compression on all three this one's the only one I have zero on so yeah oh let me show you guys how the clutch is working I don't know if you, any of you have seen my clutch video That the, the guy that I got the engine from forgot to mention that his timing belt snapped, so I have to do, be dealing with that. I'm gonna take the head off right now. Hopefully, it's just a bent valve and I don't have to take the engine back out. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.